You may not know what VUCA is, but you are living it probably more than ever before. It is a way to describe and understand the increasingly complex environment that businesses, governments, and schools are operating in. The military started using the term decades ago. The business world is embracing it, and it is now emerging more and more in education circles. V is for volatile. U is for uncertainty. C is for complexity. And A is for ambiguity. That's VUCA, and let's take a look at why it matters especially for school and district leaders. Volatility. You've all experienced it. Something bad happens quickly and unpredictably, and often at the worst possible time. And then decisions have to be made. Think cyber attacks. They can create chaos, shutting down schools for days, compromising the private data of students and school employees, and costing millions of dollars to pick up the pieces and build better protections for the future. But the volatility heats up if school districts make decisions to not be transparent about what happened, why it happened, and whether or not people's private data, such as social security numbers, were compromised. How do you prepare for and respond to volatility? Several experts and educators told us in any situation, one of the best approaches is to simply be transparent. Tell people what happened and let them know as soon as possible how they might have been affected. Then be very upfront about what time and resources it will take to clean up any messes and prevent the problem from happening again. Uncertainty. Well, we have all been living with constant and massive uncertainty over the past year. Will the COVID-19 virus finally begin to go away or will it spike again? What will happen to the economy and school district budgets? Uncertainty certainly existed before the pandemic, but it hit new levels over the past year, becoming a daily state of mind. Looking ahead, how can schools prepare for uncertainty, whether it is due to a pandemic or something else? The answer? Establish a non-hierarchical leadership team that is comfortable responding to the messiness of changing circumstances and information. In other words, try to build your leadership team with analytical, flexible, creative problem solvers. Bottom line, rigid, Top-down managers will not work, not in this environment. Complexity. There are seemingly endless interconnected parts and scores of stakeholders with competing agendas in school district communities. Honestly, it can be dizzying just to think of them all. Think about a decision on the surface uh, that might seem relatively simple. Pushing high school start times to later in the morning to better meet the developmental needs of teenagers who tend to stay up later at night. That decision triggers a whole cascade of follow-up decisions about establishing earlier start times for elementary students, shifting bus schedules for all grade levels, adjusting class times, scheduling athletic events, making sure teachers and their unions are comfortable with the change, and dealing with the pushback from parents. Just the sheer complexity of the decision can quickly derail a plan to make a change. How do you manage complexity? Well, first, try to redirect those folks who have the unfortunate tendency to make already complex decisions even more complicated. You can start doing that by establishing three to four guiding questions or priorities to simplify the complexity of the decision. As part of that process, determine the non-negotiables, the things that are literally out of your control, such as state and federal rules and regulations. That should help begin to lower the level of complexity. Ambiguity. 
We all like to have a clear vision of what a plan should look like once it is put in motion. But that vision can be clouded by ambiguity with differing interpretations about what is good and what is not. Schools are facing a high level of ambiguity around the rapid expansion of one-to-one -one computing programs during the pandemic. Critics of the overuse of technology in schools, for instance, are worried this massive influx of devices is going to be a giant waste of money and will lead to students spending unhealthy amounts of time learning in front of computer screens. But advocates for one-to-one -one computing see the trend as opening the doors for more and better ways to teach and learn. How can schools clear up that kind of ambiguity? Organizational decision-making experts recommend schools consider conducting more small experiments, similar to the A-B testing many businesses do, to understand what does and does not work, and then apply those lessons to a larger context. Volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity, VUCA. Managing all this is not going to get any easier. The world will remain a crazy, complex place even after the pandemic as other challenges arise. But you can make things better. In your decision making, be transparent and flexible, establish guiding priorities, and experiment to learn. Good luck tackling the unknown challenges ahead.